In this video, we will be looking at TBC 2024.00 point cloud enhancements. We will look at the new IRI reporting option available in TBC. Let's now have a look at the workflow for the new IRI reporting you can do in TBC. First of all, I've already loaded a mobile mapping data set for us. And what I will do is I've already classified it, so I will just switch off everything and leave the ground on. I've got a specific line here that I would like to use for this. Uh, so to get that, you go to point clouds, and this command can be used with any terrestrial or mobile mapping data sets. In the measure section, you will see the IRI report. When you click on that, it opens up uh, the command window. And now you will see the lane definition. So which lane do you want to use? You can do it from geometry or from a reference. I've just created a CAD line for our example here. You can then also customize the chainage range if you want to. Uh, I'll just leave it as defaults for this. The point cloud selection will obviously just use the ground selection. And then your search strategy, you can then define the minimum, low average, median, average high and maximum so I will go with low average for this example uh, the search distance so that is the radius it will search for points uh, as per your selection so because this is mobile mapping data I'll go with a 0.1 search distance now your analysis options is continuous fixed distance or overall I'll just go with the fixed distance and I would want every 50 meters. Then the threshold, this is the default. Uh, this is obviously your threshold IRI that you want to report on. You can change that as needed. And if you want to, you can apply a filter as well for that specific point cloud. And we'll go with a 0.25 filter. When it comes to the deliverables, you will now see you can create a CAD line. I can stick it in a specific layer. Let's create one and say IRI. And let's go with a red color for that. You can then give the maximum length of each individual line section. So this will help when you want to send it out to field crews to go check on. So we'll do a 10 meters. We can create points at the segment ends. Uh, if you want to, you can create points at segment midpoints. You can color by RI values as well. Take that on and off. And then at the end here, you will create an Excel report. You can open off the creating report and you can even export it to Agile Assets if you want to do that. So once we have set up everything, simply click on Calculate. And TBC will then calculate your IRI report for you. As you can see, it opens up. We'll just save it. And that Excel report will then open up. There we go. And as you can see, TBC will then give you your project file information, the coordinate system information, the IRI path, tell you the start and end stations, and then all the information as per your settings on the next tab. You will then get your detailed report. As you can see, these are the different values we got. And you will see it gives you each start and end chain each, the length, the MRI per kilometer, meters per kilometer, the left and the right. And there you can see all your IRI values in the Excel report. If we close this down, you will see TBC generates the right and the left path for you. It creates nodes as well on them and then if we close this if you select the specific segment and you go to the properties it will then give you the information as well as the length slope length and the roughness index over there same with the point value let's go to the oh, I want to select the actual point it's going to be easier this side there we go the actual point value as well with the relevant information for that specific point so there you have it quick and easy way to do your IRI reports now using TBC with terrestrial or mobile mapping scanning data